This is GTV, the undisputed champion of video. The following episode is dedicated to my dad, who loved boxing, watched it all his life, and tried his hand as an amateur lightweight in his day. He wasn't into games at all, but he made two exceptions when he went out and bought me boxing games. The first was boxing by Activision for the Atari 2600, and later, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for the NES. I can still remember putting Punch-Out into the old gray box and turning it on for the first time. And when I did, my dad started singing the title music. How did he know a Nintendo game had a song with words? How would anyone know anything the first time you hear something? Well, on that day in 1988, he sat me down and told me a story. The story of the Punch-Out theme song. The origins of the Punch-Out song go back to the 1950s, during a golden age of boxing, where stars like Joe Lewis, Sugar Ray Robinson, and Sonny Liston would spar on a new national medium, television. The song that plays at the start of the NES version of Punch-Out is called The Look Sharp March and was the theme song to a long-running sports program, the Gillette Cavalcade of Sports, which ran from 1948 until 1960. In the early days of television, it was the norm for a show to be completely run by one sponsored brand. The Gillette Cavalcade of Sports featured various sporting events, but the show relied heavily on boxing, which aired on Friday nights for almost the entire run of the series. The highlight of these Friday night fights were defenses of the heavyweight title by the world champion of the time, Rocky Marciano. Not only was Marciano the champ, but at the time, he was the only heavyweight champion in history with a perfect record. There were a few boxers in the 19th century who had never lost, but had draws on their records. Rocky Marciano was the undisputed heavyweight champion from 1952 to 1956. Marciano's title run coincided with a new ad slogan and mascot for Gillette. A parrot named Sharpie debuted in October 1952 and would star in a long-running series of advertisements asking men how they're fixed for blades and telling them to look sharp. The next year, these slogans were put to music by composer Malon Merrick and was called the Look Sharp March. The Gillette Cavalcade of Sports is on the air. From then on, each episode of the Gillette Cavalcade of Sports began with the now famous song. Audiences tuned in to see the champ defend his title, and the song quickly became associated with boxing, as well as the heavyweight champion, Rocky Marciano. The song was so popular, a version was recorded by the Boston Pops Orchestra, was commercially sold, and received radio airplay. In 1956, Marciano retired as champion with a 49-0 record. It was a feat that was thought impossible to replicate. Because Marciano's title defenses originally aired on the Gillette Cavalcade of Sports, any time these matches were rebroadcast, the Look Sharp March would accompany them. The song would stay closely associated to boxing after the Gillette Cavalcade of Sports left the air, the most famous of which was in the film Raging Bull, released in 1980. The song was also featured in another boxing game in 1981, years before Punch-Out. The Coleco Head-to-Head -head Boxing LCD game plays the Look Sharp March. The song was featured in the arcade versions of Punch-Out, which came a few years before the NES version, as well as in Nintendo's arm wrestling arcade game, which shares much of the same programming code, graphical style, and a few characters from the arcade Punch-Out. The songs are only slightly different from the NES version and from each other but the song isn't closely tied to the arcade game, probably due to the fact that the arcade game didn't get nearly as much distribution as the home game. If you did play the arcade version, it was probably only a few times, and in an arcade, you probably couldn't hear much anyway. As time went on, heavyweight champions would come and go. Some were more memorable than others, yet none had bested Rocky Marciano's feat of retiring as an undefeated champion. 30 years after his retirement, a new young fighter became the next big thing, an unstoppable young prodigy of the boxing ring, Mike Tyson. 
1985 and 1986, almost every fight by Tyson was won by knockout, and in record time, with a significant number ending in the first round. He earned his first title in 1986, and with his in-ring intensity and undefeated record, Mike Tyson became a worldwide sensation. As his career took off, he caught the eye of Nintendo and signed a deal with them to be included in the home version of Punch-Out. The game would be released in America in 1987, with Mike Tyson's name affixed to the title. With Mike Tyson, boxing was a hot property once again. At the time, many felt that Tyson would finally be the one who could break Rocky Marciano's record. So it's only fitting that Mike Tyson's Punch-Out would carry the tune that Rocky Marciano made famous. It should also be pointed out that what defines world champion is known in the business as the lineal champion. At the time that Mike Tyson's Punch-Out was released, Tyson had only held the WBA and WBC titles. Mike Tyson became the official lineal champion on June 27, 1988, when he defeated Michael Spinks. Mike Tyson enjoyed 18 months as lineal champion, but did eventually lose to James Buster Douglas at the Tokyo Dome on February 11, 1990 in a surprise upset. At 37-1, the streak was over, and the perfect record was gone. Surpassing Rocky Marciano's record did come to pass, though, almost 60 years after his retirement. Floyd Money Mayweather reached 49-0 in 2015. He retired after the 49th win, but returned for one more fight to stand at 50-0, though Mayweather never competed as a heavyweight. Soon after Mike Tyson lost the title to Douglas, Nintendo and Tyson parted ways, and in August 1990, Nintendo would reissue Punch-Out! and replace Mike Tyson with a fictitious character named Mr. Dream. Many gamers have criticized the change, not so much for dropping Tyson, but for the supposed half-hearted character switch to distance the game from Mike Tyson. But here's a little secret I'll let you in on. Mr. Dream might seem like a weak replacement for Mike Tyson, but he was intentionally designed to look just like the man that goes with the game's theme song. The real, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Now that you know this little bit of history, let's go back to the Look Sharp March and put the real words to the music from Punch-Out that my dad taught me 30 years ago, so you can sing along. Knocks him down for the third time! A TKO at 128 in the second round! It is truly unbelievable what we're witnessing here tonight as Little Mac becomes the new WVBA champion in a stunning upset!